If you are a true horror movie fanatic, you have seen all the classics at least once, from Saw to Silence of the Lambs and The Blair Witch Project, and you were also probably the first person at the box office whenever horror movie premiered. But have you seen all the best foreign horror movies? If you're especially hungry for something new to scare you, here I have 5 great psychological horror movies from 5 countries. And before we dive into it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The Wailing is a South Korean film. Soon after a stranger arrives in a little village, a mysterious sickness starts spreading. A policeman, drawn into the accident, is forced to solve the mystery in order to save his daughter. Director Jinna takes audience on an electrifying journey involving ghosts, spirits, and the nature of evil itself. Like all great horror films, this one shows how fear builds up from ignorant rumors and gossips as the villagers of this backwater town start to lose their grip on reality. I can say you don't want to skip this film. I find it to be fresh and tasteful and worth a watch at least once. Don't let not liking to read subtitles waylay your interest. The fundamental theory behind this film is about a man in a quadri of a situation but surrounded by religious connotations. It has a unique and intricate plot that will keep you hooked up to the end, which is impressive considering it is over two and a half hours long. Dark Water is a Japanese movie. In the final stages of messy divorce, Yoshimi struggles to build a new life for herself and her daughter. Unfortunately, the challenges of single parenting and an ongoing custody battle are further complicated. When they move into an apartment plagued by mysterious water leaks and haunted by apparition of a little girl, this film plays upon the paranoid, insecure feeling that no one else in the world values your relationship and love for your child and that only you alone are going to battle it out. So without giving away too much, this is a rare horror film that manages a weepy ending as well as truly spying tingling narrative. Don't miss a chance to watch this one. Under the Shadow is an Iranian movie. This movie again revolves around a mother and a daughter who struggles to cope with the terrors of the post-revolution war-torn Tehran of the 1980s, a mysterious evil began to haunt their home. If there is one thing horror movies do best, it is taking real life psychological fears and making them as tangible as possible, forcing us to experience the dread that we prefer to push into the back of our minds. Yet this is something often traded out for cheap stock in horror movies today, while under the shadow may miss a few beats in terms of its actual scares, it is an atmospheric and smart film that is about the real operation that many people had to deal with and how it affects its main character. If you're looking for a horror film with good movie making techniques, this could be your pick. Veronica is a Spanish film. The opening to Veronica has all the ingredients for a good horror film, a solar eclipse, and VG board, and a teenage girl desperately wanting to reconnect with deceased father. With her teacher tells the class about ancient cultures that sacrificed people during and summoned dark spirits during solar eclipse. She decides to have a seance with some friends. It is based on the true story of a young girl who died mysteriously and without clue in the 90s after using a Ouija board. It was the first case in Spain in which a police officer actually reported paranormal activity. As a rentless pursuer of historical depictions in movies, I must say this one of the scary ones. It is marked by A1 performances of the depicted characters and proves to be a good horror movie. Although lacking depth, it is worth your time if you are into horror movies. The Killing of a Sacred Deer is an Irish movie. 
I could easily say this that it could be the most disturbing thing you will watch in a very long time. But unlike most scary movies, you can actually watch it without having to look away every two seconds due to too many guts and gore. It is very mood driven, intellectual, experimental, strange, quirky, and rest assured beyond entertaining. It is about a picture perfect family that is thrown, of course, when the father mentors a young stranger, then strange boy who quickly becomes obsessed with him and the family. The whole universe of the movie seems to mimic the father's monotone, bizarrely effectless demeanor, even when the kids start getting sick in an apparent act of revenge. If you're more into thrillers than straight up horror, but still love a bone chilling and intelligent narrative, watch this. Be prepared to research into for hours once you are done. There is enough to this story for a discourse. So this was the list guys, let me know in the comment section which genre you want me to pick next in the foreign movie category. Thank you for watching, see you guys in the next list, till then have a good one.